Alright. It is Sunday. We're going to take a little ride to uh, Eisenhower Park. So this is... Uh, I don't think this is considered Santiago bike trail, but... It's the bike trail. This is... Uh, the city of Orange and uh, we're heading to uh, a street called Wanda I think which goes through Villa Park and then we'll take that to Lincoln to Eisenhower Park and we'll come back on uh, Tustin Avenue looks like they're keeping up on the graffiti pretty good look at this lattice the bougainvillea is taking over Little wall of jasmine. So this little section of the trail isn't maintained very well yet. Oh, we got a loose German Shepherd, okay. <clears throat> Oh, that's good. He sees the birds, yeah? yeah. Wow, look at all that jasmine. Another uh, overcast day, but uh, probably by by noon it'll be sunny. It's about uh, 60 degrees and I am not dressed for this ride whatsoever. I have shorts on and uh, a windbreaker so it's kind of cold. So yeah, I think this is Wanda. Yeah, it's Wanda. So this is uh, running parallel with Tustin Avenue, which is you know one of the main one of the main drags in uh, Orange. Check out this new trail here. I've never ridden my bike over here before that I recall. So this is all new for me too. However, I'm, I am familiar with this area because uh, I shop up here in Villa Park. Stay on this dirt path. There it is. Villa Park Knolls. Oh, look, a bike lane. Yeah, I'm freezing right now.
All right, so let's check out the incorporated area of Villa Park, which consists of this. This is it. This is Villa Park. So we got a little liquor store here. Buccaneer Pizza. And this uh Rockwell's Bakery, Cafe, and Bar. Let's get a look at this water tower here. So this this little spot is a hot spot for for Villa Park uh, residents. So if you're in the if you're in the in crowd of Villa Park, this is where you're gonna hang out. Rockwells. And then you have a little civic center and a library. And then the sheriff is also uh, right here. They have uh, their own sheriff that's always cruising around. Check out this clock tower. Rotary Club. A quaint little area. This video might be longer than I thought it was going to be. We still have a ways to go to get to Eisenhower Park. We might, uh, We might cut up to uh, Tustin Avenue because you get the idea of what this, uh, it looks like this all the way to uh, Lincoln. So not incredibly exciting. The suburban sprawl here. Yeah, let's cut over to uh, I guess now let's go ahead and stay on this this route. That's fine. It's fine. We'll come back up on testing. It is pretty nice. There's a lot of trees and stuff, so Is it going to rain? Some of these clouds look pretty dark.
So this is probably uh, back to the city of Orange now. This is no longer Villa Park. And uh, Anaheim Hills is that way. And some of this stuff up here might be considered Anaheim Hills up on top of this hill. So we're heading towards the uh, 91 freeway. So the we're running parallel with the 55 freeway and then we hit 91 and we can go to uh, Corona. The 15. And then this way we can go to, uh, well, go to Anaheim. That would be Anaheim, Fullerton. Buena Park, LA. So this little section here, we're gonna cut across the uh, the way here. Here. Uh, those guys are turning. Alright, let's get up on the sidewalk here. Good morning. Now we are on Lincoln. I am freezing. So this is a tripped out little area right here. Right next to Eisenhower Park, but I'm gonna check out this little shopping center here. So there's Eisenhower Park right there too. I don't know how many acres it is. out this way but we'll find out check out this view of the park
So yeah, that's where we're going. Miss Donuts. We don't want to scare the fish. Got some serious fishermen down here. So yeah, this was part of a, a water development area back in the late 19th century. So if you want to look up the history of this little area this is eisenhower park which was you know some sort of a water district thing back in the day So this is a really nice park, but oh wow, the waterfall isn't going. It's a little disappointing. So there's a little creek that flows through here. And uh, it is not flowing right now. Let's see what's going on. I don't know if we can climb this or not. Let's try. Oh. Wow. This looks sad. So the last time I came through here, I did make a video, but I never uh, I never published it. But this little creek is usually running, but it is not. And this is sad. It's crazy geese, more geese hissing at me. Anyway, yeah, there's so many geese and ducks here. It's um, it's a little obnoxious to be honest with you, because uh, they shit everywhere. So if you're here with your kids, it, it makes it so it's not very, very fun. So yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with the river or the creek or whatever you want to call it, but it is not here. My bike is making a lot of uh, a lot of noise. So there's a guy setting up for a party right there, and he's laying down sleeping. <laughs> so in order to get this his little section of the park, he probably got up super early. Oh, I see a plaque down there. Let's check it out. <clears throat> probably got up super early to claim a spot for the party because it's first come first serve and now he's taking a nap it's pretty funny that's my biking skills here So you can see from the chalk, <laughs> the chalk drawings, graffiti starts early at a young age. You got Mickey Mouse. I saw a plaque down here. Let's see what it says. Whoa.
mouth of the Santa Ana Valley Irrigation County Tunnel. The 1870 irrigation ditch of A.B. Chapman and Andrew Glassell, which supplied water to the new farms and ranches around Orange, was delivered in 1878 to flow through a tunnel <coughs> under the hills north of here in 1892. The original redwood structure threatened to collapse to alleviate the danger, the old tunnel was lined with concrete on April 14, 1892. Over 2,000 people assembled here to witness the opening of the new tunnel. Okay. If there's any people interested in history here. It's a little nest right here. Look at that. Look at that little nest. <laughs> That's crazy. Was that made by a person or an animal? <clears throat> All right, let's get out of here. How long? It's been 23 minutes. It's not too bad. Let's go up this trail. It was pretty fun to ride here. There's lots of little hills and these old trees. I mean, people have been here, coming here for a long, long time. So a lot of history here, a lot of spirits and that kind of stuff. this structure is <clears throat> so yeah this this little section here is this is considered olive heights <clears throat> I don't know if it's considered a city but it is considered a community uh, separate from orange but it sits right within the uh, borders of orange oh, man look at all these geese anyway so there's a view of the pond and let's get out of here I don't want to go through all those geese <coughs> So there's a colonial home up here on one of these streets. That's kind of cool. Let's see if we can find that. I think it's up here. Let's see. No, it's not right here. Maybe up here. So yeah, Eisen, Eisenhower Park is is a cool park, but it looks a lot better when the uh, when that creek is flowing into the pond. It actually looks really clean and nice. Wow. Pretty steep hill. God, my bike sounds like it's gonna fall apart. Don't break on me, bike. Wow, dude, this bike is just sounds crazy. Something's loose. So there's one specific house I'm looking for and then we'll head back to uh, Tustin. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna find the house. I guess I could look it up. I don't know if I wanna climb another hill. Let's go down here a little bit. So 
So on a clear day, you could probably see pretty far. Oh my God. You can see the Anaheim Stadium. Probably won't be able to see it in the video, but. All right, pardon the noisy bike. I wanna see, take one more cruise up here. So Anaheim is over here. Damn, these hills are a killer. This is nice up here. I mean, if you had a house up on top of this hill with a balcony. Oh yeah, check out this old house. Colonial style. This hill is steep, man. go back up to uh, Tustin Avenue and head back. It's been 29, 29 minutes, so. Just a quick uh, morning ride to get get my uh, energy going for the weekend. So on the weekend, do a lot of chilling. It's hard for me to get, uh, get motivated sometimes on the weekend lately. But I have a feeling uh, riding around on my bike will help out yeah I can tell the difference at work so if you're considering riding a bike to uh, work commuting on your bike uh, you won't regret it so uh, it will become a habit for sure um, it makes a big difference uh, for your energy. So if you have a, I know this is an e-bike, but I'm still pedaling the whole time. So if you, uh, if you, now my head, it just, if you ride to work, you'll notice that you're more energetic, more energetic, sharper in the morning throughout the day um, versus when you don't. 
Um, we're on Tustin Avenue now. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I lost track of what I was talking about. Yeah, Walmart. And this little area here is called the uh, like the village, I think. Orange Mall Village, something like that. But it uh show you the area I'm going to be talking about so a lot of people that have lived here a long time are sad because this place this little section over here is pretty much there's a mall inside of here that that's not making it so they shut down the mall and uh, you know there's a battle here to uh, to make this village at Orange, a uh, tear it all down and turn it into housing. So, of course, we have the battle over that. You know, the side that doesn't want it and the side that doesn't want it. So. Trader Joe's. Man, this jazz, this whole parking lot is jasmine. It smells so sweet. Got a BevMo up here. I used to go to this BevMo. I prefer Total Wine. Total Wine is a great uh, place to get some good beer. But BevMo, uh, it's all right. got any text yet. No. Nobody's missing me right now. So when I first visited Tustin, I think I talked about this before, maybe not. I uh, came out here to go to a used uh, 
a big used bookstore they had here and uh, it was here on Tustin and I didn't really care for Tustin Avenue too much I think I was living in either Costa Mesa or Irvine at the time so probably Costa Mesa but uh, yeah coming out here was like man we're so far away like from the like it seemed very far inland I didn't like it but then once I moved here I had no idea that I was going to end up moving out here. This has become my city, you know. Um, I love orange. I think he asked me if I was his Uber. No lemons at the city at uh, Toyota of Orange. It's pretty, pretty clever. Oh, tight squeeze. Miguel Juniors. That is a good spot. Specifically, they're bean and cheese burritos, or you can get like uh, burritos that have chili rellenos inside of them. Very good. Not incredibly exciting, but it's different from the uh, weekly commute. Somebody sleeping here. So we do have our share of homeless in orange, but not too much. There's a few, uh, a few downtown. And then some, some scattered throughout, but honestly, not very many. You, 
could you could probably count them if you drove around all day in orange probably like I don't know 10 yeah and they're the homeless that I've seen around here are usually yeah it's people that I've seen over the years you know they're this has been their spot for forever There's lots, I don't know if it's like that in your towns, but these little fitness places, these personal training places, are all over the place. You know, CrossFit, MMA gyms. So just on this street, You've got that one. You got, uh, this is Albertsons over here. I think there's another one right here. Glute camp. Look at this. This is ridiculous, man. I just don't like this kind of stuff, but anyway, Glute Camp and Fitness, they have a peach there for your nod, guys. <laughs> and then there's, uh, I'll show you. There's another one up here. I'm just kind of realizing that there is a lot of little gems here. Right here on Tyson. Here's a Planet Fitness. We passed the 24 hour fitness over there at the village. I think there's another one right here. Yeah. Hit the mark fitness. So here's another one. Looks like somebody hit the mark on their uh, on their sign. Probably like screw this place. Threw their energy drink at it, bam! Broke the sign. All right, well, so down here, well, there's a, here's a, this doesn't really count, but this is a karate, a karate spot. And then,
Yeah, we'll go up here to, uh, to the donut place here. But we'll go up one more block and then we're done. It's already been 46 minutes, so. So there's a jujitsu place to my left. There's another gym right here. And there used to be one right here, but it's gone, so. Yeah, tattoo shops, martial arts, and gyms. So here's uh, so within two blocks. This is the third martial arts place. We've got Fraser Martial Arts, which you've seen this area in my. Uh, weekly videos. Anyway, this video is a little bit longer than I thought I thought it would be. Let's go this way. Trying to think of some spots I can edit out. densely populated little neighborhood. All right, well, thank you for uh, going on a little morning exploration. Uh, please, uh, if you like the video, like it. If you don't, thumbs down. Leave me a comment, your thoughts. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, uh, just subscribe. It's, uh, it doesn't cost anything. And uh, it supports the channel. So uh, we can reach my goal of... Uh, a thousand subscribers. <laughs>